First off, good to see you guys. How are you both? We're doing, doing well. good up here in the northern United States, Vermont area. Northeastern United States. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm telling everybody, you are uh, the, the Brass Lamp Man of Vermont, and you guys are, people can get a lot more information on you, probably by following, checking out your Instagram handle, and of course, at the GWK Gay Dad Business Directory. But before we talk about your B&B, tell us a little bit about your family. Yeah, so we, uh, we just celebrated our 16th anniversary. Congrats. <laughs> it's a long time ago, but thank you. Yes, yeah, so we have um, two kids. We have Harper, who is nine, and Ajax, who celebrated his eighth birthday yesterday. Oh. Um, so we were out eating pizza and sushi, as he wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but we uh, use Choice Network to bring our family together. I know an agency that is close to uh, your heart, as well as ours. Thanks. Um, with Molly. And uh, yeah, we have lived in Columbus, Ohio, where our family started and decided to come on up to Vermont. Why not? The Green Mountain State. So how did that happen? So first of all, um, you guys moved here from Columbus. Uh, how long ago? It was just a, few, a year Go ago? Ahead. Yeah, just at the end of uh, this past March. So not, not shy of, just shy of a year. Just shy of a year. And how did it come up that you said, you guys were not B and B owners in Columbus, Ohio, most recently. How did it come up that you said, you know, for those of you who are old enough, why this comes to mind the new hard show, right? For me, but tell us how how this came to be that you guys took over a beautiful B and B. Well, um, so it's all kind of started when I quit my corporate job back in December of 2021. Um, kind of getting out of that world, realized I didn't want to do that anymore. Um, so, and we were kind of looking at the, and I realized I didn't want to do that kind of work anymore okay. at all. It kind of okay. started though, we were like, let's move to Canada. Things were kind of looking shifty here in the United States and we wanted to kind of get out of Dodge. Um, but moving to Canada was going to be way too hard, but we started looking at bed and breakfast on Prince Edward Island and it got the, the bed and breakfast bug back in kind of our heads again. We had owned a bed and breakfast back in Ohio before the kids, um, in, in outside in Granville, Ohio. Um, so Andrew sent us, started sending us properties uh, here in Vermont. The first one was this inn right here. The old owners had grown up in Columbus. Um, so we ended up having this connection point uh, right out the door. And, uh, you know, Vermont is kind of the next best thing to, to uh, Canada. It's progressive, but rural and, uh, and accepting and, and just a beautiful, gorgeous place. And so it's just an amazing place to have a bed and breakfast. So it was a really lucky opportunity for us. So I could just tell everyone watching, if they have, if you haven't been to Vermont, I have been several times. In case you all can tell, I parked my car in Havajad, grew up in Boston, <laughs> is a place we go to. And so it's absolutely beautiful. And I haven't had a chance yet, I say yet, to visit you guys, but I certainly, we certainly will. Um, but from the pictures I've seen, it absolutely looks beautiful. You want to tell us a little bit more about the Brass Lantern Inn? Yeah, so the Brass Lantern is a nine room in here. We are uh, have the best view. If the sun wasn't setting behind us, you'd be able to see the best view in Stowe. We see the mountain and all the ski ranges uh, directly from our breakfast room. Uh, yeah, we took it over. It's been in operation. It's actually our 35th year of operation here. We'll be celebrating that in June. So stay tuned for some special events to come around that. Um, but yeah, we're a great location with walk, walking distance to downtown, um, access to everything in town, uh, or I should say village, I shouldn't say town. So uh, we just have, I think, the best of all worlds here. Comfy, cozy, luxurious, uh, kind of getaway from Boston, New York, or anywhere that you're coming from. Fabulous breakfast from Andrew here. Just wonderful baked goods as well. We do have a hot tub, so if you want to relax <laughs> and... Uh, Drink a bottle of wine while watching the sunset over these beautiful mountains behind us. We, we got that there, too. And easy access to hiking and biking and skiing and anything else you want to do. So one of the things that I, all right, so first I want to ask Andrew, what's your favorite thing to cook for breakfast? Oh, man. So we, we, we like to do a little test kitchen. And once we find something, we roll with it. So uh, we do some pretty mean inventive things like um, a BLT with eggs. We do a breakfast grilled cheese, which is a real hit. Um, it's really tasty. Um, and then we do traditions. So we have a lot of folks come and say, I want that Vermont breakfast. And we're like, well, we'll give you some maple syrup. So don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, Vermont the, maple, the maple syrup comes from right up the street. So right. it's very, very local. Yeah. I've actually been to a maple syrup farm. It is so cool to see all the 
tubing, go from one tree yeah. to another. Yeah. Tree. Yeah. Awesome. That's a, that's a fun family activity to do if you come up and visit us here is to, to visit the Nebraska uh, Sugar House and then and see how that all go, happens. That's cool. So, all right. So tell us, so first of all, something that I think is really awesome about Stowe is that, I mean, you go there in the summertime, you go there in the fall for leaf peeping, and you go in the winter for skiing, like right? Like, I mean, yeah. people go all around. Um, so tell us more about what's a draw for gay dad families. And, and with Europe, at Europe Inn, like what, what goes on for family? Do families come or is it mostly dads getting away for the weekend? Yeah, I mean, we mostly have couples, but we do get family groups here as well. We have some rooms that can accommodate those families pretty easily. Okay. And uh, they really love to like, a uh, bike on the rec path or uh, take a hike see some, you know, to the waterfalls, um, visit a sugar stack. As I said, there's a fantastic places to eat. Um, there's chocolate and beer and all sorts of wonderful things. To, to, and maple syrup, of course, everything maple. Um, our kids love to go to the, Grand, to the Stowe Mercantile and uh, uh, raid their candy, candy section so, and they get some fun toys and things like that. So there's all sorts of things for kids to do around here. Yeah, but I will say that we're in Vermont, so there's a comfort level that's uh, kind of uh, set us already. You're, uh, we had a lesbian couple stay with us recently, and they said, "Where do we? where's the gay bar in Burlington, which is about 45 minutes from us? And we said, gay bars? Because they're... Uh, that kind of is washed away. And while we can talk about how that culture should still be there and all that kind of stuff, blah, 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 blah. It's great that there is kind of this acceptance level here that uh, we start from a higher level than I think a lot of other places do. So it's just the bar. It's not the gay yeah. bar. You know, it, one thing is really telling is that, you know, when you're driving off the highway from Burlington to come to, to Stowe, as you're coming into Stowe, there is a big, huge sign that says Black Trans Lives Matters. And it's just part of part of who we are here to be accepting um, of all people. Um, it's 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 really a, a beautiful. So your family will feel comfortable here. Um, I think is really important to say. Yeah, absolutely. So how are the kids adjusted to life in Vermont? Oh man, let's see. Harper has kung fu and drums on Monday. She has a newspaper on Tuesday. She has lacrosse on Wednesday. She has newspaper on Thursday and lacrosse on Friday. Snowboard. She's, She's snowboard. on snowboard. So yeah, the kids have fully adapted. I will say Ajax, uh, so I, uh, I've done some of these lives before, but Ajax is on the autism spectrum, but we had gotten a free complete package from Green Mountain Adaptive, which is our local uh, um, adaptive, adaptive ski program sports. to get him to ski with folks and learn how to ski with folks who can kind of help him because knowing that he has autism and learning with his diff uh, differences and he learned to ski this year and picked it up and loves to ski now and rides down some green, uh, some blue mountains so it's pretty impressive and we're, it, i mean the support that our family has found here i think has been pretty incredible um that we've experienced and i i want to say that's because maybe we're gay dads but i think that's because we're vermonters now and people are really accepting and just excited to have us here that, so i didn't know that you know one of my kids also is on the autism spectrum and uh coming to sports is a real low careful yep. <laughs> yeah. oh that so we'll definitely have to check out oh we i'll tell you the first time i saw him i was like bawling my eyes out like he was ah! like this kid who doesn't do anything like that doesn't has had difficulties in other situations was just rolling down the hill in skis with a guy behind him like rooting him on and telling him to go for it and it was like it was mind-blowing about how accepting the town was and just seeing his limitations pushed and accepted was pretty incredible Wow, yeah. that is awesome, that's awesome. So uh, any questions I didn't ask you about um, that I should, or anything else that you'd want to share? No, I mean, I, I think that the, the most thing is like, you know, come up and visit us here and still, I, I, you know, we've been talking with the Gay With Kids folks about potentially having uh, uh, an event for, for families here. Um, and, and so we're, we'll, we're hoping to be able to, to share some of that stuff soon about that. But um, yes, Vermont's a wonderful place where you can just kind of, you know, get away from all the stuff that's going on in the rest of the country. You know, you come here, you kind of feel like, you know, you're at peace and, and your family can be at peace. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking for that any time of the year, we're, we're here to, to welcome you. Great. I see that someone just asked the name of the resort. It's the Brass Lantern Inn in Stowe. Yep. And at Brass Lantern Inn Stowe, yep. S-T-U-E. 
Um, we're going to check it out. And as Don just said, we are planning to do some kind of gay family weekend, but I don't want you to wait till then to check out the Brass Land Knit. Okay. Uh, guys, guys, thank you so much. It was great to see you both. Tell the kids I said hi, please. Nice. And uh, if, you're look, if you're watching and you're looking for a weekend get check out the Brass Land Knit and still tell them that we sent you. Thanks, everybody. All right, guys. Thank you thank so you. much. Bye. Bye.